Five week old kitten glued to busy road rescued in Oregon. This motherfucking species is not worthy of surviving. Who would do such a thing? A Silverton man said he made a disturbing discovery while driving to work Friday morning. A kitten that was apparently glued to the road. What the fuck? Stuck in a busy lane of traffic. It was around 7 a.m. and still fairly dark outside, so at first Chuck Howley uh, couldn't tell what was in the road in front of him on Silverton Road Northeast near Cordon Road Northeast, just outside of Salem. At first he thought it was a small box, but as he got closer he realized it was alive, a little kitten, frightened and cold. When I went to pick her up, her feet were stuck to the road, and I was like, "Uh uh-oh. So I started to pull her feet up, and it was like rubber cement. So she was glued to the road, Howley told our sister station in Oregon, can we, Fox uh, 12. If they were fired, did this, can we just fucking do the same thing to them? Just glue his cock and balls to the road and <laughs> just leave him there. That'd be good with me. Uh, there's no way to know how long she'd been there, but Howley believes it's not an accident. Uh, we were hoping that she had walked through glue, but it was pretty apparent that somebody had soaked her feet in glue and sort of rubbed it into the pads of her feet, he explained. Based on what he saw, he believes whoever did it intentionally placed her in the middle of the traffic lane. Oh, fuck them. Probably some fucking shitty teenage sociopath. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> I'm going to glue this cat to the road. What a piece of shit. What a fucking country. What a world we live in. Uh, luckily, the ki- little kitten should make a full recovery. Now that she's been rescued, there's a happy ending to the story. She's going home uh, permanently with Howley. The funny thing is we were talking about getting a cat a couple of nights ago. He said, seems like there's uh, easier ways for the cat to find us. But if that's how we're doing it, okay, I guess that's how we'll do it. If they don't name this cat Old Gluefoot, they're just missing an opportunity. They named it Sticky. Oh, Ah, dude, that's awesome. Gluefoot, dude. Gluefoot. Gluefoot the cat. I'm glad I had a happy ending, man. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, So who do you think did it? I think it was Trump. (laughs) <laughs> it was Trump. Yeah. One of these immigrants. Clearly it was Soros. CJ. Yeah, it was one of these MS-13 gang members yep. gluing kittens to the damn it's street. It's a gang initiation. You got to glue a, cri- a kitten to the horrible, street, S.A., and then you can roll with us. Terrible, violent people. They're sending their rapists. Someone in our chat says, I can understand his motives. So apparently we have some oh. cat gluers in the chat. Well, I hope that somebody finds you and beats the ever-loving fuck out of you, sir. <laughs> yeah. They don't talk to the patrons like Sorry that, about Paul. that. I mean, I, not bad enough to where you can't keep your patronage up, but just bad enough to where you know that it's bad. Yeah. To Before someone beats you to death, which you do deserve, you need to uh, you need to put your money in a trust that releases to us over time. Right. So that you're you know, keep you're, the patronage going. We don't want to lose your money. We just want you to lose your life. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Have your annuity check sent to our house. <laughs> 